Hello everyone and welcome back to Legally Blind. I hope everyone is still coping okay with quarantine. For me it's been getting a bit harder to find the motivation to do much of anything really. Um, and I've noticed that many of the YouTubers that I follow and subscribe to are also posting less frequently than they did before. Um, and you know, it's just hard on everybody. And with everything else that's been going on in the world these days, doesn't really make it easier. But I hope you are all staying safe and taking good care of yourselves. So as difficult as it is to make videos that require a lot of creative energy and positivity right now, I still wanted to give you guys some content. I didn't want to go too long without posting anything. So I decided to give you this slightly technical video today and it's going to be about features that you guys can use even if you're not visually impaired but just want to give your eyes a break. I know that this type of video probably is not going to get lots of views but that's okay with me. This channel is not just about getting lots of views and subscribers although I do care about growing the channel um, but I also care more about making content that can be helpful to people. Uh, so even if this video only benefits a small group of people, handful of people, that's okay with me. Also, a lot of people are not aware that these features exist and they might actually use them if they know that they're there. So make sure you share this video so that anyone in your life could benefit from it. The feature I want to talk about today is a text-to-speech feature that is available on Microsoft Office 365. Now, I made a very short video before where I complained about accessibility problems with Microsoft and Windows 10, but I also like to acknowledge when they get something right. This feature is really great and is really easy to use, um, and it has made my experience using Microsoft Word much more comfortable. Although I still have a bone to pick with Microsoft because they've only made it available on Office 365, which is not the version of Office that most people are going to have on their personal computers. Why? Why would you do that, Microsoft? But if you're lucky and your workplace has a Microsoft Office 365 license, or if you can get a license for yourself, then you can definitely make use of this really helpful tool. I will also very quickly show you a Firefox add-on that also can read text out loud for you from your browser. And of course I know about the software JAWS, which a lot of uh, blind and visually impaired people use on their computers to um, read the screen for them. And I, and I do have that software on my computer, thanks to the university I work in, but I don't really like it. Um, I find it rather difficult to use, not very user-friendly um, for people who still have some functional vision and it really slows down my computer when I turn it on. Maybe someday I will have proper training on JAWS, but for now I just prefer to use these much easier, lighter tools, let's say. So with that, let's take a look at these text-to-speech features. So this is what Microsoft Word 365 will look like when you first open it. As you can see, it's pretty similar to regular uh, Microsoft Word, except that up here, this blue bar is a little bit different. Um, and right here on the left is what is called the Quick Access Toolbar. And this is the toolbar where the uh, text-to-speech tools are going to show up when you add them. So uh, to add a tool to this toolbar, you need to either go to File, Options, and then Quick Access Toolbar, or what's much easier, just right click any of the tools that are already on this toolbar and hit Customize Quick Access Toolbar. Um, I need to make my magnifier a bit stronger. So right away this will open this window for you and on the right here you can see this box contains the tools that are already there and on the left you have all of the other tools that you can choose from if you want to add anything. So to find my text-to-speech tools I need to first of all make sure that all of the tools are visible 
And I do that by choosing all commands from this drop down menu. So now all of the tools that are available to add to the quick access toolbar will be visible down here. And there are two tools that can read text um, here. One of them is called read aloud and the other one is called speak. And I'm going to find both of them right now. All I have to do is just scroll down to the R's and the S's and find those. Do that right now. And uh, there it is, read aloud is the first one. Uh, you just select that and click add and it'll move it to this other box and then scroll down and look for speak. There is speak, select, add, and then hit OK. So now you can see those two tools that we've added right up here. Now let's see how they are different from each other. So this one is the speak tool and this one reads this, the text that you select, basically. So if you just select this first sentence, it'll read like this. They live on the waters of Southeast Asia, dwelling in boats and living off the sea with hardly even a homeland that they call their own. Right, and then if you just leave your cursor there and you don't select anything, and then hit speak, it will read that, for that word that your uh, cursor is on. There. Just like that. Um, now, this one, read aloud, is a bit different. If you click this now, it will just read the entire document starting from your cursor. Um, and that will look something like this. They live on the waters of Southeast Asia, dwelling in boats and living off the sea with hardly even a homeland that they call their own. They have little sense of time and age. So as you can see, like if I don't, if I don't move my mouse, while it works, the magnifier follows each word um, and uh, the tool selects each word as it reads it. Uh, that can be useful for some people who want to always be f tracking where they are on the page. Uh, also, these controls appeared over here on the right. They only appear with this uh, read aloud tool. And uh, with those, you can play, you can pause, you can forward or rewind. Um, and these forward and rewind buttons just skip a paragraph. So it'll be something like this. Hardly any clocks, calendars, birth, they are the Beijiao people, sometimes called sea gypsies. Forward. The precise origin of the Beijiao people remains un- The precise rewind. origin of the Beijiao- the They are the Beijiao people, sometimes called sea gypsies. There you have it. So if you hit that rewind button twice, goes back to the previous paragraph. If you hit it just once, it goes to the beginning of the paragraph you were on. So very easy. Um, some people would probably prefer the read aloud tool because of the controls and because you can just let the document read the whole article for you while you're doing something else or whatever. Um, but if you're just reading a small amount of text, just a, a few words or a few sentences, I would usually just use the speak tool. And now I just wanted to quickly also show you this Firefox add-on. It is called also read aloud and if you just google read aloud Firefox add-on you will quickly find this page and you can install it in a few seconds and it'll just be up here on your uh, on this uh, uh, bar over here. Um, and the way it works is, again, this is the same article that I have copied and pasted some text from into the Word document. You can just select this whole paragraph uh, and right click and just hit this, read aloud. Um, but you might not see this in the list unless you restart Firefox after installing the add-on, so just make sure you do that. The Beijiao people have long lived on the waters of Southeast Asia, where they've evolved into sea-dwelling beings with bodies like no other humans on planet Earth. I've been looking for a long time for something that just does that, uh, where you can just simply right-click and have text read to me by the push of a button, and that's available through this kind of add-on, so that's pretty cool. You can also just select this and then hit the icon over here. The Beijiao people have long lived on the waters of South. And now you Asia, have all these controls into sea dwelling. up here. Again, you can pause, play, forward, rewind, um, 
if you want. So that's all. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, as you can see, this is something you can uh, use even if you're not visually impaired. Um, it's much more comfortable sometimes to just, you know, select all the text and have an article read to you while you do something else. Um, it's very comfortable and, and easy to use. Please let me know in the comments below if you guys also know about other similar tools and features um, that can facilitate reading text. I've also been uh, thinking of making a quick video to show you guys what the gaming experience is like for me when I want to play a PC game. Of course, video games are often not very accessible to the visually impaired. Um, so if this is a, an interesting topic for you guys and you'd like to see something about that, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching as always um, and special thanks to my patrons. Please like the video if you liked it share it so that other people know about these features and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and i'll see you next time